Welcome to today's video, an AliExpress nail haul. And you know something, I rarely shop on AliExpress anymore because of an experience. But this is the once or twice that I have and came up with some pretty cool and interesting things. So let me just show you. The first thing is, look at these cute teddy bears. Aren't they so cute? The only thing I don't understand is why they don't have faces. I guess you just put them on according to the mood of your set, huh? <laughs> so these are yellow ones with little gray bows. And I'll make certain to get everything up close to the camera so you could get a good look. So cute. And then there's this peachy color with like cream or yellow color bows. And I have had these for a while. I ordered these, I want to say, like back in the first week of November. And they came a few weeks ago. Cute, right? Aww. Aww. And then they come in this cute pink with these dark purple bows. Just too cute, cute, cute. So I had a funny thought about drawing the faces on. Because you could actually turn these into little angry bears, right? By putting some angry faces on them. <laughs> I just think that would be so cute too. So adorable. Aww. And look at them in this baby blue with the cute little pink bows. Oh, I'm thinking that these and the yellow and the peachy ones would be so perfect for, you know, like baby shower or baby reveal sets. These things are just the cutest. And then I got some different kind of bears that are just so cuddly and cute. Look at these guys. Look at the detail in the little bows. And then let me get the tray so you could get a better and more clear. Look at those bows. And then you know what? As I look at them even more, I'm thinking to myself, are they puppies or are they teddy bears? Either way, aren't they the cutest? I look at him. He's just waving at us. Hmm. I like everything I've gotten so far. So this next item is a different version from what we used in the spas and the nail shops. And I also have something different that I use on my desktop, which I'll show in a moment. But I got this because it's portable and I wanted it for my, um, for my travel bag. So it says glue wake up device, portable electronic automatic. But what this can be used for is it is a polish shaker, guys. And let me cut it open for my scissors. This particular version I did see on Nails by Cami and Sassy Fantasy. So let me just open it up and show it to you. Is this still sealed there too? Sometimes these boxes are so hard to open, right? Give you a look at the contents. There's a bag of, this is what you would put your, um, your handle in and I'll explain that in a few seconds and then here's the unit this is some type of propeller I don't know I haven't had this so we'll see how this goes <laughs> and then here's a stand I believe for it so there are instructions on the back of the box please insert the connecting shaft before you use do not remove the connecting shaft after the first use <laughs> Choose the right size. Uh, insert the plug. Please switch the device and vibrate. Please press the switch and the device will vibrate. Shake the glue. If the glue isn't shaking completely, repeat the above steps. So let me make sure I read this better to myself real quick before we get started and I'll be right back. And so there are no instructions other than what's written on the outside of the box. I don't know if the units that Cami and Sassy Fantasy got had an instruction manual or booklet but here is a stand and I, I'm pretty much seeing that the stand is for these inserts 
that you put the handle of the polish bottle in so it is looking like it goes like this you can keep them like that and there's one two three four five I'm, I don't remember how many they had when they showed theirs, but yeah, there's five in here. So I'm just randomly putting them on the stand. Oh, there's six. Okay. So there's smaller ones, and then here are... Actually, there's seven. Or maybe eight. Oh. Okay, I'm sounding crazy because I'm opening this right along with you, and I, I'm just trying to figure this out that fit so that might have to go on one of the outer ones I don't know oh so the circles will tell you which one goes where okay girl <laughs> so let me just put those on so you could see what that looks like one two another one there we go so one two three four five six seven eight different sleeves and then again like I said I'm trying to figure this out by memory of watching when they showed theirs on their channel I believe that propeller is probably used for um, if you need to dry something and I don't it doesn't even say guys I'm actually trying to see if there's a cord to charge it or if it takes a battery okay so it takes batteries I got these gloves on and you know what I'm wearing these gloves because you know the irritation some of you guys are familiar with the irritation that goes on with my finger and on top of that I, if you've been following my channel I posted a community post we had some stuff go on in this house guys I had some flooding and so I have been dealing with that and then like I said the irritation with my thumb so I just chose to I just opt to wear the gloves for a period until it starts healing again because it's an on and off thing but let me get some batteries for this okay guys so I'm so glad we do keep batteries in the house so it takes two AAA batteries which as you can see it did not come with the unit which I feel it should have okay there's some shade that I'm throwing and you know what while I was loading the batteries I was admiring the appearance of this unit so let me just kind of like push this back a little bit get this stuff out of the way look at this guys look at the operating end and the pretty little rose gold color on and off switch and just turning it on just to get a feel of how it sounds it's not noisy at all so pretty I'm actually glad that I got it so the purpose of the sleeves is and I'm trying to do this part by memory as well if you notice the insert at the operational end so you have to match the size of this these pieces to the unit that you're going to use or the sleeve that you're going to use so let me just do this randomly mm. okay so here's a really good one for me to use so you could see the separation in the polish bottle right and what you do is is you match the sleeve up to the polish bottle and this was one that was the closest that I could come up with as a match it doesn't go all the way on but it is on there nice and firm Bam. okay so you see that the sleeve is on there and then you're gonna match whatever size thing it takes however that goes and you know what um I must not have gotten an instruction booklet because I remember between the two of them they both said only rotate it for like 10 seconds and I see that nowhere on the box so there must be an instruction guide that's missing and then this goes this gets fitted and you should really do it backwards you should put the sleeve on first but I'm just discovering this as I go so I get the impression that this is how it goes in right yeah so there you have your polish bottle and I'm going to hold my hand underneath just in case because you're not going to see the whole unit when I turn it on and I'm just going to hold it in place just in case guys and look at that so it says about 10 seconds 
and I'm already in doing this I'm feeling like you really should hold it more upright because the weight of the bottle could possibly bend the setup so I'm not gonna do the whole 10 seconds and it's looking like you have to hold the power button down for as long as you need to so you don't turn it on and it just keeps going and then let's take the bottle out oh it didn't mix all the way but you could tell that it blended so let me do this a little longer and if I speed this up you'll still know what's going on so let me and it's probably it seems a little wobbly because maybe I don't have everything pushed in all the way set up all the way how convenient so yeah it mixed it a little more and I believe that line that I'm looking at has just been a line that has kind of just stayed in there from it separating but it looks like the polish has definitely blended pretty decent and that's how this works guys and then let me show you the other feature to it oh is it still oh it does still spin <laughs> instruction booklets company okay instruction booklets because as I let the button go it is actually still spinning so let me turn it off okay there you go so it is an on and off switch because at first I was under the impression that you have to hold it in place so let me just separate this and then show you the other part so yeah I, I put the polish bottle in there kind of firm and I had to kind of wrestle it out of place and then this sleeve comes off Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this right now if it's a bit of work to deal with this it's cute though it, it seems to be a handy tool okay this I'm just making sure that's all the way in there and then the other piece was the propeller so and I'm guessing at this without instructions and you place that on there and then you turn it on Oh, it goes pretty good, guys. Use that to dry. Dry, dry, dry. Okay, so that's how this cute little tool does work. I like it, but it just seems like you got to kind of fumble with things a little bit here. And um, I don't know. Not that you'll use it like every day, all day long anyway. And I have yet a totally different version that I've had for a while now. And you could see the dust that's collected and there's not even a label on it anymore I can't even remember the company name but this is what's called a vortex mixer and it's commonly used for things like mixing tattoo inks uh, cosmetic liquids and paint liquids and I use it to mix my polishes anything to get a thorough and even mixture especially something that's been sitting for a while you know like how even we uh, play around with and experiment with mixing polish colors. It's good for that as well. I've even played with my acrylic mixtures on this. So this doesn't take much effort to use and that's what I really like about it. So let me just show it to you real quick. You just simply take your bottle or your jar and I'll use the same polish bottle. And you just rest it on top. That's it. It is going to make a little noise. I'm gonna hold it in place where I actually kept it, it it was in a little it was in like a little nook so and that's it guys that's all it takes let me try let me show you with the acrylic powder and you can actually see it vibrating and moving around inside let me see if I could get a close-up of that. I know it's a little dusty, but this is just for purposes of showing you. Let's see if you could get, let it focus. It's not going to focus well enough, but you could kind of see it moving around in there, right? So you don't have to, it's moving guys, it's moving. It's like on spin cycle. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I have this one because it doesn't take much effort there's at all. There's no attachments and all you have to do is rest your bottle on it with some light pressure. And there's no stress or strain to your wrist or your arms. 
For me, the only downfall is, is as you can see, it does make noise, but nowhere near compared to what the other one does. My most favorite part about this is it does come with a char. It comes with the cord, which is actually a charging cord. And let me show you that real quick. There's just this little light that lights up while it's charging. And then you plug it in and you pull up, you know, you put it into your USB unit and let it charge up. But you don't have to use it plugged in, guys. If you noticed, it wasn't plugged into anything. So there it is. It's not plugged in. And that's my most favorite part about this. I could just pick it up and take it where I need to use it if I'm upstairs or downstairs. So yeah, guys, a Vortex mixer in case you are considering one. Or you could, I think, put it in as a, a gel polish mixer. But for the most part, I think if you put tattoo ink mixer, any of those things that you put in, these should come up. I just don't remember what I put in because, like I said, I've had this for a while. So yeah, keep your polishes mixed. And then, and then there are a few more things. And I saw these and I just could not request. Well, you know, things are so affordable on AliExpress. You just have to pay real close attention to the shipping. But this is some grown up stuff right here, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Look at it, guys. Some wine bottles. Aren't they just like, oh. <laughs> They are so, so cute. So, you know, my son's birthday is December the 25th and then with New Year's coming around. So, yeah, maybe I'll do some like grony grown up nails with this. So, so cute. And then there's more. Look at these. Maybe I don't have to take these out the bag because it's looking like it's showing pretty well in the camera. Look, guys. Look. <laughs> and they come in this color yellow. Aren't these the cutest? And you know what's funny? I actually, I'm not a drinker. My thing is, is I do drink wine on occasion. And I mean, that's a very, uh, that's very infrequent. Typically when like I have a hip problem and typically when my hip is giving me problems like the pain is above 10 and I can't do anything about it, I'll sit back with a glass of red wine just to soothe it. It'll relax me, you know, <laughs> make me believe the pain ain't there. <laughs> but aren't these so cute? Let me lay them out. It comes in all these colors. Kind of puts me in the mind of like, you know, those coolers or like breezers. Just so cute. Yes, honey, some grown-up nails with these. Mm. Mm. Little wine and cooler bottles. Just the, the cutest ever. And then remember the cheat that I did when I did the, um, the snow globe nails? So yeah, look, guys. Lollipops. And you know what? I was a lollipop fanatic when I was a kid. You couldn't leave a carnival with me if I didn't get my gigantic lollipop to take home. And there's so many colors. Look, there's like a caramel or chocolate color. There's purple grape, cherry. Look at the rainbow. There's blue and then there's blue with blue stripes. And then here's that pink that I used. I think I used too much pink in that snow globe because it didn't look clear after a while. There's yellow. Oh, and there's a white one. I didn't see the white one before. Just too cute. And then there's orange. So, so cute. And you know what else I saw while I was kind of like uh, perusing on AliExpress? I saw where they had taken, you know, the larger size gummy bear nail art where they took the larger size gummy bear and put a lollipop in its hands. And I just thought that was the cutest ever. I haven't checked to see if any of the little bears that I have are large enough for these to fit into them. But cute, right? And then I got these. And I just love these because I love these crooked hearts, guys. 
One of the ones was this crooked, crooked heart, the crooked heart. <laughs> and I love this color oh, look stone. At it. Look at it. Look at the color shift in it. So beautiful. And I'm hoping that I kind of like did those inserts to, you know, to where they make sense. Because <laughs> I use them pretty frequently. I love those little clips from my first Amazon haul. And then, last but not least, and I am going to have to open these and put them on the tray. So, I said that about myself as a kid with lollipops, right? And also, as a kid, I was a bubble gum fanatic, okay? I was that kid, bazooka. I know that that might be dating myself, but bazooka bubblegum was like the best to chew, blow bubbles. And then the other thing that I was doing was I like, I was that kid that would stretch my gum out as far as my arm could take it and then chew it back in slowly. And then in time, you know what else I was, I was like blowing hard bubbles outside the mouth, inside the mouth. And then I started popping and cracking my gum, y'all. <laughs> but look at these. Aren't they so cute? Can you see them? Look at those cute little faces and look what they're doing. They're blowing bubbles. And you know what? I saw these on Viola Brown Nail Cover Lovers channel too. But I think Viola, I think you have the ones that are large. And I apologize guys if my recordings seem a little bit choppy today because for some reason the camera seems to be cutting off more and more frequently. I don't know if the memory that's built inside starts diminishing in time and with use or whatever the case is. I'm not that well uh, technically, technologically advanced. So, and then these are the other ones. So I'm just going to put them all in the same tray. But yeah, Vi I was saying, Viola, I think yours, you have the larger size ones. But either way, aren't they the cutest? When, when you see them and the reaction is like this, I really wish that I got so many more of these. Because there were other types, other faces. I think all the bubble gums were blue maybe. I really wish I had gotten more. So yeah guys these cutest little bubble gum faces. I hope you enjoyed today's AliExpress nail haul and if you'd like to see more here are two playlists that you can enjoy. And consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything because I still have so much more waiting for editing. Thank you for spending your time at Pick You Color, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Much love.